love of the game. I got it as uh, as early as four years old when I started to play on a team. I never thought that I was going to play in the NHL. I played for the love of the game. But again, when you get uh, you get close and close uh, to, to your dream, uh, you start really dreaming about it. Winning my first Stanley Cup was, uh, you know, one of the moments in my career that that uh, I remember the most. Looking back, yeah, we were a pretty dominant team. Um, as far as my game, that's probably where you could circle that. That's where I was at my best, also. When I decided to retire, you know, I, I had an idea of what I wanted to do is, is, is to try to try to learn the management part of the uh, of, of a hockey team. I think you, you kind of see different things about the game that as a player, you didn't stop and took time to really think about. Now it's a little different. You got to think ahead of, of things that, that's going to happen or things you need to do to, to make sure that you support the people that you're in place to support. I'm here to learn. I'm here to, to try to see if one day, you know, I could be a manager for a team. It gives me an opportunity to have that adrenaline pumping, even though you don't play hockey. I think that's probably the most fun part of, of my job is you still feel you're part of the team.